Hey guys, it's John. This video is sponsored by Shudder. Shudder is a premium streaming video service with the best selection of horror and thrillers. With a unique human curated collection of horror classics, blockbuster hits, as well as original and exclusive films and series, you'll always have something new to watch. For just $5.99 a month or $56.99 per year, you'll get unlimited access to stream ad-free on all your favorite devices, including iOS and Android. Try Shutter free for 30 days. Go to Shutter.com and use promo code John Wolf. So recently, I watched the first season of Eli Roth's History of Horror. It's a series all about horror media, and each episode covers a different genre, including zombies, slashers, and exorcism films. Honestly, it's so cool, and if you're someone who's really into horror, which you are, come on, it's definitely a series that you should check out. There's even a second season that came out recently. So check it out. Try Shutter Free for 30 days. Go to Shutter.com and use promo code John Wolf. Thanks for watching. Back in November, we announced the HQ Residential House Game Jam, which was a game jam that challenged developers to use the asset HQ Residential House in a new and exciting way. The jam ended at the end of January, and I'm happy to say that it went very well. We got 26 entries completed, and I'm going to be playing a few of them in this video. These entries were all very creative, and I want to thank everyone who made a game for this jam. I'm sad that I couldn't play all of them in one video, but if I did, this would be a 10-hour video. So I hope you enjoy Random Horror Games HQ Residential House Edition. Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing some random horror games from my HQ Residential House Game Jam that just concluded at the end of January. We had 26 total submissions, and if you want to check them out, I'll leave a link in the description. There's tons of submissions, and I'm not going to be able to play all of them in this video, but we'll take a look at some of the more popular ones, or the ones that got played more. Starting with Joe's House. This is the most popular game from the Game Jam. And uh, I'm not surprised, but I am disappointed so far. Let's go ahead and check it out. I'm just kidding. Maybe it's really good. I, it, it uses uh, HQ Residential House, so it fulfilled the requirements. How to play Joe's House. Joe's House is a maze building game where you must rearrange the furniture of the HQ Residential House to create the longest path from Joe's bed to one of the exits. Front door, back door, or garage. Okay, I think I get it. Wow, this is a long text dump. Okay. Okay, this is more complicated of a game than I expected, but basically the gist is that you're trying to create the longest path from Joe's bed to the outside, and you're trying to get them to take as much time as possible to leave the house at nighttime. They can also attack you at nighttime. You can do other things to slow them down. Let's just go ahead and check it out. We got other games to get to. Here's Joe. And this is what I meant when I said I wasn't surprised, but disappointed. <laughs> it sounds like Jabba the Hutt. Hello, you must be Joe Burt. Wait, I'm Joe? I thought this was Joe. I am Joe B City. Okay. I was expecting you. You are here in response to my newspaper ad. I need someone to help me with my medical condition. I have a strange sleeping disorder. I roll out of bed at night. In fact, I don't just roll out of bed. I roll out of the house. Once I roll out of the house, I endanger innocent civilians. Your job is to keep me in the house at night by whatever means necessary. Please come on in. Oh. Okay, you didn't even have to use the door. Let's follow Joe to the kitchen. And as you can see, this is HQ residential house that we're in, so it's ticked that box. The easiest box to tick. <laughs> Welcome to my house. Banta Poodle. Make yourself at home. You can start setting up the house for the night. My bedroom is at the top of the stairs to the right. At night, I will roll out Right out the front door. The first thing you may want to do is barricade that front door. You can use one of the barricades in the garage. Use the map to plan where you want to put the barricade. Okay. 
Drag barricade in front of door. And this is actually cool. This says uh, where we are on the map. See, I'm the blue arrow, he's the red arrow. There we go, I've, I've dragged the barricade in front of the door, I think. I see, so now there's a barricade there. <laughs> we can still close the door though. The only problem is now I can't go upstairs. Okay. Well, I'll just be going about the house. Come find me when your preparations for the night are complete. Also, light gives me a headache, so I keep the place dark. Use your flashlight to get around. There he goes! I have received two pies. Okay, so I guess I'll just leave you to it. Okay, allow me to give you the grand tour. So, Joe starts out in his bed. He then goes this way. He has to go through here, here, and then out the door, right? And then he goes straight downstairs. I'm not really sure how to like make this a maze, to be honest. But he goes out this way. He can't go this way, so he's got to go through here, through the dining room, around into the kitchen. He can't go in the garage, so he's got to go through the den. Around the outside. Oh, I can't, actually can't even fit right there. But he can, though. I've seen him do it. Here, show him, Joe. You can do it. Look, look. Look at him go. Look at that! And then he goes out the door. See? So even though I can't make it, he can. Alright. I finished setting up the house. Yeah, I have, actually. Press Y to start. He's got to inspect for fire safety. There must be an accessible exit in case of a fire. So here's him inspecting. He approves of this. Off to bed he goes. <laughs> All right, night one of three. We gotta wait for Joe to get to his bed and this should give us a good preview of how long it's gonna take him to get out of the house. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Go talk to Joe in his bed. Thank you for bringing me my medicine. I'm going to sleep now. Okay. Survive and keep Joe in the house. Okay. There he goes, he's rolling. He's actually rolling towards me. He's ro he was rolling towards me! Oh, excuse you! What? Uh <laughs> no, not quite yet. Okay. I dropped a pie. And I think that that slows him down a little bit. Okay, but not too much. So I've got to survive 50 seconds. Dropped a pie right there. I've got to survive 40 more seconds? Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't actually go through there. Oh no, 30 more seconds. Oh, there he goes. Oh man, it didn't take him much time at all. He's skedaddled. Wow, okay, this is tough, but I think I get the general idea. We got more games to get to, but that was Joe's house. Uh, if you want to check this out for yourself, it seems pretty challenging. Very creative though, moving the furniture around to create a maze, that's very cool. Next game. This is a game called Conflict in Plastic, and already I'm very interested. We've got these little army men guys. Let's start the game. Hiya, Q Brute here. My entry for this game jam is about the vivid imagination of a child, where toy soldiers come to life and battle for the reign over HQ Residential. This kid has way too much time on its hands. <laughs> <laughs> on its hand, as not a single household item is safe from being built into this fantasy world. At least this is somewhat the story I originally thought of. Only after I began work on my submission, I realized how greatly I underestimated the time and effort needed for my initial plan. I would have loved to create two or three levels, stretch across multiple rooms of the house, but in the end it didn't work out. So unfortunately, there's only one level so far, the garage. But nevertheless, please enjoy and have fun with Conflict in Plastic. Cool. All right, let's check it out. So these are the controls. Okay. Fun, let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at me, I'm a little toy soldier in HQ Residential House. Find a way out of the starting area. 
Fight through the barrage of enemies. Find a way to scale the wall. Scale the wall. Find a rifle. Neutralize the leader. You can just shoot like that. Nice. Alright. Oh, it looks like we go through here. Nice. Okay, we found a way out of the starting area. We gotta fight through the barrage of enemies. Oh, there they are! Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> okay, re wait, reload. My bad. <laughs> this is actually really cool. This is a really cool little, like, Toy Story-ish game jam game right here. Oh, I gotta reload. I keep forgetting to do that. I have 39 health, if you're wondering. I have 72, so I'm not- I'm not doing great so far. Okay, we'll reload there. Oh my goodness, there's so many of them. Can we get an alternate weapon, I wonder? Cuz, I can't help but notice that the pistol- Oh, what's this? How do I get in there? Okay. Go in here? What's this? What'd I get? I got some kind of bonus, some kind of secret. Um, oh no, how do I get out? Okay. Wow, this is crazy. Oh my gosh! Whoa, that was really close. I almost got exploded. Oh my god. Bro, how many of those do you have? He- he chucked two grenades at me! Okay. Find- uh, fight through the barrage of enemies, find a way to scale the wall. I have? How do I scale the wall? Also, what's this? Right here. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. <laughs> There's so many of these guys. Okay, unfortunately, I only have eight health, so... Oh my god! Okay. Actually, the grenade, too far away. Okay, this guy is pretty crazy. No, blow him up! Damn! Oh, I gotta go all the way back. <laughs> you can, you can, uh, you can jump along the books over here. I don't think it leads to anything, but it's something cool that you can do. Anyway, I'm heading back to uh, over here. I, I never found the rifle, and I think this might be the leader coming up. Oh! Got him. Oh, got the rifle! Hell yes! Okay. Now I gotta take out the leader? I'm guessing we go up the xylophone here. Oh, I was hoping it would make sounds, like xylophone sounds as you walk up. That would have been really cool. Okay. Gotcha. Neutralize the leader. Is he up on the car seat? I'll look for him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These guys don't respond to me. Hang on. Let me continue blowing their heads off. Great. <laughs> Alright, where's the leader? Oh, here we go. Oh my god! Did I get him? I don't think I did. <laughs> it's a battle for the ages! 
Oh, he's got a lot of health. Okay. Damn! Didn't quite get him. Alright. Well, that was Conflict in Plastic. Very cool little game. Um, definitely different. Using HQ Residential House in a interesting way. So, I enjoyed that. Check it out if you want to see what the ending's like. Next game! Okay, this is a game called... I don't... I can't really remember what this one's called. Let's check it out, though. Oh, this is called R-E-H-Q. My name is Wilbur Smithers. Recently, I bought a new house for dirt cheap. It was like... 60 bucks. According to my legit real estate agent. The previous owners were amateur cultists. After many occultic experiments, this normal looking suburban house turned into a dungeon full of monsters and danger lurking at every corner. My mission <laughs> is okay. to cleanse this house of all evil with soap and water and a nice pair of rubber gloves. You monsters better get ready, cause it's time for some residential house cleaning. Or, as I would like to call it, Rick with a Q. Rick. Because I find that letter underappreciated. Wow. But first, let me get off this toilet. <laughs> Let's check out Rick. I'm very interested to see where this goes. That was nice. Now, where did I put my rubber gloves? When in doubt, use gloves and WASD and left click and escape. Okay, thanks. Well, here's some soap. I feel recharged and clean. Why is there a chain around the toilet? Okay. You can punch the toilet off of the screen. That is in need of some residential house cleaning. Okay, so I use the soap. That is in need of okay, some wait. residential house can cleaning. Okay, wait. Can I take the soap with me? Curse my stumpy little legs. Luckily, I've mastered the art of double jumping. Oh my god. Uh, okay, gotcha. So here are my gloves. Okay, gotcha. Let's start some, uh... Here we go. Residential house cleaning. This is the master bedroom of HQ Residential House. Looks a bit different now. Looks like some D&D &D nerd's bedroom. I like it. <laughs> oh wait, to Wilbur? What's this? Oh, this is like another glove. But I've already got gloves. So why would I need another glove? Alright, let's go. I think the only thing this part needs is a bit of soundtrack. A little bit of music here would go a long way. <laughs> cool, nevertheless. What does it say over here? To Wilbur. When you're reading this, it's already too late. Have fun with your playmate. <laughs> What was that? To somebody in the previous room, maybe? Oh my god. <laughs> Am I doing any damage? <laughs> I can't tell. Oh my god, he, he- dude! He's doing so much damage! <laughs> I'm no good at this game, I'm garbage! Okay, jumping actually gives you some distance. No, it doesn't. <sighs> okay. I guess I'm just terrible at this style of game. Um, yeah, turning with the mouse, by the way. I don't know if I'm just not doing it right. It's hard to turn. Maybe it's meant to be that way. Oh, I'm trying to get underneath there. 
Oh, okay. So you gotta, you gotta hit. Oh no! Go up on the beanbag. Wait, where'd he go? I was fighting him, but he's gone now. There he is. <laughs> yeah, try getting me up here. I'm going inside. Baby crib is an Easter egg. <laughs> it said on the game page that there were seven Easter eggs. Well, I guess that's one of them. Oh, have you lost interest in me? We can fix that. Ooh! Oh my god, I defeated him. <laughs> I got one of the eyeballs in my little grubby paws. Crazy little game. To Wilbur. What's this? Hello, Willy. We've spiced things up a little and taken your stairs into the depths of the unknown. You'll only get them back after completing the five trials we laid out for you. Worst of luck, your favorite enemy, the house. Wow. HQ Residential House is literally... A weird-looking closet door. It has an eyeless monster on it. Hmm. I wonder what's inside. It's literally a character of its own. Okay, so we've got to collect eyeballs to open up a door. That is very neat. Here we go. See this right here? Just a little bit of ambiance, just a little bit of music. I like it. I don't know. Some kind of Simon Says puzzle? Do we turn them all to red? I don't know, I'll figure it out later. There's gotta be some kind of clue for that. Hey, here's a eyeball right here. Oh my god! Oh, whoa! <laughs> okay, so it came to life and started chopping at me. Nice. Those chairs should have stayed seated. <laughs> what? Very the funny. Die! Oh my god! Finally died. That is cool. This is a very interesting game. Like, I recognize this room even though it looks completely different. It's still recognizable. There we go. So we just got two more eyeballs to get. Let's see what's in here. No enemy is too big for Willy, right? Uh-oh. Wow. Damn, eat your heart out, Bloodborne. Oh my god, oh my god! Whoa! Okay, you got a bit of a range advantage there, bud. Can I go into the water or does it hurt me? Yeah, water hurts me. Okay. It is hard to turn. I'm not sure why that is. I guess like it's... That retro feel, maybe? Wow, what the hell? <laughs> okay, what's this way? There's some socks leading in here. That reminds me. I have some laundry to do. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm gonna attack by the laundry machines. I love how each room of HK Residential House is a boss. It's like whack-a-mole. Oh my god. Why? Wow, how, how are they doing damage to me? <laughs> I'm terrible at this game. I just, I just went crazy this time. Save this one for last. Die! 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 Okay, I beat them? <gasps> I got the eyeball. <laughs> Hello, Willy. 
We got another Easter egg. Oh boy. This is a very creative, cool game. Okay, uh, the last one that I need to do is uh, the water one, and I have no idea how to beat that. By the way, um, oh, there's actually, yeah, 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 I didn't, I never read this. What's this? You can read all previous notes and view bonus content through the master closet. Punch to continue. Bonus content? Oh, cool, there's concept art. Neato for the master bedroom. Ah! <laughs> Concept art for a bun bun, the bunny boss. Love it. Okay, what's over here? There's another note. Hello, Willy. Should have kept a better eye on the stairs. Ha ha ha, you suck. Regards your favorite enemy, the house. No right. No way. Those monsters actually took my stairs. How will I ever get my lovely stairs back? Uh. I didn't realize that's what you do. Uh, you just grab the eye from the duck. Okay, here we go. So now what? Would you look at that? It's locked. Do I have to get one more? What from? Okay, we got the one here. What's this? Huh. Oh, Easter egg. Completely missed that. Well, we got it now. Okay, here's another one. What's with all the Easter eggs? Oh, I don't know what was going on with the mouse earlier, but it moves way more fluidly now. Uh, it's like sometimes it would get really jerky. Uh, just now it was fine though, so I don't know what happened. Okay, so green, blue, yellow, purple. Is that the code for down here? Green, blue, yellow, purple. Green, blue, yellow, purple. It worked! Okay. Bones, I'm guessing this is not good. Some kind of final boss, maybe? Certainly looks like it. Or are we already in... Yeah, I knew it. Are we already in this digestive system? What the hell? Oh! Do I kill this thing? Do I kill it? I don't... Okay. What? Can I kill this thing? You can kill most things in this game, right? Anything that moves in this game you can kill. Okay, I don't know if I can actually kill it. I'm just gonna move on then. I've got the last eye, so let's do it. Right? It opens up. Looks like it's some sort of labor. Hello, Willie. Seems like you made it. Congratulations. It's well deserved for such a hardworking cleaner. Have fun on your way down. Okay, before we go. Because I think it goes over there. I think I did find all the Easter eggs. Maybe? Oh look, here's a little bun bun. I think I found all of them. Maybe I'm missing one. Not sure. But yeah, look. Concept art for the hallway. Look, there's concept art for Wilbur. For the chairs, for bun bun. Very neat. I'm glad I played this game. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's use the, the lever real quick. And see what happens in the ending sequence of the game, I presume. Did I do it? Oh. Nice. Oh, it's the stairs. I got my stairs back. Yeah, but where did they go?
Seems to be getting kind of dark. I wonder where I'm going. Wilbur fell down the stairs. But did he die to be continued? Probably not. That was really cool. Wrecked. That was, that might be my favorite of the bunch I've played so far. Well, all due respect to Joe's house. All right, next game. This is a game called Spirit Cleaning, and I think it's like an adventure game slash visual novel. Oh, let's get this, thanks. Did it change? I think it did. All right, let's enter. It looked like it had some visual novel um, facets when I looked at the game page. Oh, okay. Oh, fixed camera angle. So this is us. Ah. We're armed with a spray bottle of some kind. Fixed camera angle and HQ residential house. That's pretty neat. Here we are with all the blood. Look at all this blood. The sound of a screaming kettle pierces the silence. It is coming from the kitchen. Oh, let's get it, dude. Press E. A purple aura surrounds the boiling kettle. Shimmering slightly as steam escapes from the spout. Will you touch the kettle? Yeah! As you touch the kettle, you enter a state where you can see through to the unseen. A woman in an apron stands before you next to the sink. Her name's Catherine. Oh, look at this. She's got a live, laugh, love apron. Perfect. She's probably got a you had me at Merlot throw pillow as well. Charming. Ah, I guess in these parts, I'm not expecting anyone right now. Who might you be? A cleaner? And a cute one at that. My, I could just eat you up. Catherine, how many glasses of wine have you had tonight? Sorry, it's been a while since anyone else visited. I'm afraid I'm a little unprepared, but it's great to have guests again. I presume you're here to clean, since this place is so dirty. I have to warn you. Oh, here, let me just go up to this corner, actually, so you can see what they're saying. It's not the kind of filth a regular person can get rid of. I'm not a regular cleaner. Neither am I, but I'm sure you've noticed that already. You've probably seen right through me, ha ha ha. Oh, she's a ghost. How should I say this? Do you believe in an afterlife? I'm not sure if one exists either. The only thing I'm sure of right now is I'm dead and that I can't go to whatever is beyond death. I'm here to help you pass on. Well, I think we should talk about something else, namely you. It's so nice to be able to host someone just like old times. A celebration is in order. And God knows you can't have a party without wine. I knew it. What did I even say? I had you pegged from the moment I saw you, Catherine. Now, could you get the wine bottle? It's in the fridge. Okay. I know exactly where the fridge is because I know the layout of this house. You open the refrigerator and grab a sizable bottle of wine from the very front. Thanks, honey. Oh, sorry, did I just call you honey? Old habits die hard. Mmm, speaking of old habits, could you get the wine glasses out? They're just in the cupboard above the sink. Don't mind the dust. The sink, huh? You stand on your tiptoes and gently lower two slightly dusty wine glasses. Thank you, darling. There's just one more thing. Could you pour mine down the sink? It's, uh, the only way I can drink it. I just hold the empty glass because it, ah, uh, reminds me of the way things used to be. Thank God ghosts have a sense of taste. It's a good... No, I'm not gonna even try. So nice and fruity. Very French. Unfortunately, the aftertaste of soap and dishwasher really does dominate the senses. So what's keeping you from passing on? Don't be so direct. That's very rude of you. But I guess I don't have anything to lose by telling you. As you know, I'm dead. Yes, we've established that several times, Catherine. The reason I'm still here has to do with my death, obviously. It all started when I met my husband. He was a junior executive at some company while I was in culinary school. He told me to drop out. He said he would provide for me. 
It was a perfect marriage from the outside. We had our pretty little house at the end of the cul-de-sac, our family SUV, and our two well-behaved kids. Things were normal for most of my life with him, until I found out he was having an affair with one of his colleagues. Couldn't bring it up because I was worried for the kids. What would they think of us if we had to split? Somehow he knew that I knew. We talked to each other about it, deciding not to get a divorce and I thought everything would be fine. When the kids were at camp, he snuck on me while I was making some tea and killed me. Okay. Wow. The kids. I wonder how they're doing. I haven't seen them in so long. They must be in university by now. He dumped my body far from the house. I don't think it was ever found. The liar said I just went and vanished one day. I just wanted to live a normal life, and I couldn't even have that. And I can't even have it after death. I even had children with him. We spent our lives together, and that was how he thanked me for loving him? I just wanted peace and joy in my life. It's not too late. You really want me to go that much, do you? Am I really that bad? I guess there's really nothing left for me here, except staring at my blood on the walls anyway. I might as well accept it. Cleaning up this mess is the only way I can begin to move on. And it will, by my choice this time, to move on. And really, I don't care what happens to me, as long as that cheater burns in hell if there is one. But hey, on a lighter note, thanks for indulging me on this little date of ours. You have my blessing to go on a dear thing. The stains on the walls, dull and dark, begin to glow bright red. Now's your chance to clean the glowing stains. Move around the room, aim by moving the mouse, and click on stains to spray them with the solution in your bottle. Oh. Very satisfying. Do we get unlimited sprays? Get rid of this. Y'all ever play, uh, Viscera Cleanup Detail? Okay, we got this. By the knife. Okay, oh, and this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How'd y'all get up on the ceiling? Oh, no! Lots of blood on the ceiling. How much did you bleed all over the place? That was the last of it. Come talk to me over here. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, thank you for this. Now that this room is clean, I feel so much more clean. I think I'll stick around and savor the suds and wine for a moment or two. Don't worry about me moving on. I'll get bored eventually. Oh my goodness. Okay. That is very cool. So then this is another character, I'm guessing. Look at our swagger as we walk through the house. And then this is another one, right? So we've got to get different spirits in the house to move on. So there's at least two. And then up here, I'm just enjoying the camera angles. Oh, hello. A ritual circle, huh? So that's three. Four. Four different characters so far. Oh, I think maybe that's it. All right. Well, let's go in here. Got my swagger on. Fiona Job Worker. Oh, I suppose you're the cleaner that the memo said was coming by today. She sounds very frantic. Memo? Can this wait? I really can't have you touching anything and reorganizing my papers. Everything has its place and I'm busy right now. You're dead. What could you possibly be busy with? Even though I'm dead, I've still got work to do. Sending emails, filling in spreadsheets, the usual. You know you're already on permanent vacation, right? Not to my employer. They're expecting a lot from me. A lot? How much? Pretty much an infinite amount. I can't leave until all of this is done. And I can't get any of it done. What's wrong? Like most people, I can't work well without peace and quiet. Too much noise, fogs up my head, and I can't get my work done. As she says this, you hear a muffled screen outside the room. Yo! Now that was epic! Oh, come on. Nothing can be that epic. What was that? There's another ghost here, possessing the room down the corridor. She's the worst. Constantly shouting and screaming about absolutely nothing, and I can hardly get any work done. If only someone would give her the hint to keep it down! But I'm only allowed three hours break per month, and I do not plan to waste it lecturing some noisy little kid. Sounds like a job for me. Okay. Down the corridor, huh? Could it be in here? 
Inside the bedroom, you see an old-fashioned lady sitting slumped in a plush chair that doesn't suit this modern house. Ah, so probably not this person. Lady Polly Tergast. The ritual calls for a long wait, but it doesn't state an exact amount of time. What did the author mean by long? One hour, one week, 100 years? 10,000 years? Well, I have been waiting and absolutely nothing has happened. Yes, I've heard plenty, but hearing isn't believing in the slightest. Besides, it means nothing if they cannot hear me. Have I not tried my hardest in attempting to commune with the dead? What thick fog boredom is, rendering both the mind and the body sluggish. Inuri is commonplace in this field, but I refuse to allow it to bring me to my knees. Damn and blast! How much longer will it take for something exciting to happen? I see. Well, I can't really help you yet. Down the corridor, though. Oh, wait, is this open now? Oh, shit, we got a gamer in here, folks. You can hear screaming, shouting, and the sound of gunfire coming from the many headsets sitting on the table. You pick up one of the headsets and put them on. As you do so, you return to the familiar state of seeing the unseen. A girl sits in the big chair, controller in hand, VR headset on face. Fortnite Johnson. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys, this is going so well. This might even be the biggest dub I've ever gotten in this game. I just need to focus and do this perfectly. Oh, it's timed. Hey! Wait, who's there? Oh, pff, My toe! I said fudge. Gotta keep it family friendly and clean on the channel. Uh, speaking of ears, just a quick word from our sponsor, Raidcon. The earphones only for true shadowy legends. Oh my god, I hate it. She feels around, slaps a few keys on her keyboard, and takes off the headset. First of all, WTF was that timing? Couldn't you just wait for a few minutes? Second of all, who are you, and what are you doing here? I'm cleaning up the rooms where people have died. Uh, a cleaner? <laughs> I don't hire cleaners. Yeah, my room's messy, so what? Did my manager put you up to this? Fudging, dang it, he should have told me beforehand. So man. Why won't you return my calls? Look, really sorry, but you can't be here. My ad break's almost over. You know the kind of work I do, right? Gaming. On the surface, that's what it looks like, but it's not as epic and easy as it looks on the outside. Ugh, this really is poo-poo stinky right now. The audience can't see you here. You're gonna have to get... As she turns to her desk, she pauses. Ah, this isn't epic at all! My coffee's run out. I meant to get more during the ad break. I need to keep up the energy for my gamer gang. I can't pass out on stream. If I do, the algorithm is gonna punch me hard for it. Uh, would you be an absolute legend and go down to the kitchen and bring my gamer gasoline brand coffee? It should be there on the table. The kitchen lady has been a true fan, preparing it just in time for each ad break. Kidding's bye! And we're back. What's going on, Gamer Gang? It's Fortnite Johnson back at it again with some more shooty game warfare. Cold War Battle Royale. Cold War, sorry. I feel, uh, I could feel the cathartic energy radiating off of that monologue. I could, I could just, I could just feel, I could feel the angry keyboard tapping as that was written. Okay, so, yeah, coffee machine? You grab the giant mug of glowing coffee. Ah, uh, hey again, I told you I'd be sticking around for a bit. I guess Fortnite needs more of that coffee, right? Honestly, I'm not sure this is too great an idea. This is the fourth one she's had today. That's more than what she usually has. Every time she has a refill, she always ends up really hyper and pushes herself to the limit. It's a bit worrying. Not to mention it really winds Fiona up, especially when she's on one of her group meetings. Also, this stuff contains some quite addictive ingredients. Caffeine's in it, of course, but there's a lot of it and a lot of sugar. We can't exactly die again as ghosts, but oh boy, I don't think she's as invincible to status ailments as she thinks she is. I've heard her typing away and working all through the nights. I'm not sure when the last time Fortnite took a little time off that wasn't dedicated to playing that shooty battle royale cold gamer warfare game. <laughs> she must really enjoy it. Anyways, it was nice seeing you again. Be careful when going up the stairs with it. Wouldn't want my cleaner getting dirty. Why does everything you say sound kind of sexual? Here I go. Hey, I got your stupid coffee. Oof, I really am throwing the game today, guys. It doesn't look like I'm gonna be getting any dubs anytime soon. She sniffs the air and immediately turns to you. Oh, boy! She snatches the coffee from your hands. 
This stream is sponsored by the great people at Gamer Gasoline, the best source of nighttime energy. Am I like this? I feel like I'm not like this. I know this video was sponsored, but I'm, I, come on. Come on, we're not all like this, right, right? Use code FNG Gamer Gang, FNJ Gamer Gang, for a free sample set and a one month off your subscription. Fortnite Johnson downs the whole cup in one gulp. Mm. <coughs> what can I say? I'm dedicated. Oh heck, that really did not sit right. I need to lie down. I'll be back. After turning the stream off, Fortnite Johnson throws off the headset and reclines in her chair. Ah, brain hurty. Not again. Man, why does this coffee do this to me? I do enjoy it. Don't get me wrong, but for a while now, it's just, just not agreed with me. Still need to drink it on stream because of my sponsorship contract anyway. I don't really know when the contract ends. My manager keeps track of that stuff. But even if I wasn't sponsored by it, as something good in it, they just can't get enough of. When I play like that, that makes it sound really like a problem. Catherine's been trying to talk to me about how too much of this stuff is gonna make me feel worse and worse. I never had the time to listen to her though. If I stop working for a second, I'll lose it all to the algorithm. It's like an endurance race. Who can consistently upload popular videos the longest without burning out? Once you slip up on the editing, maintaining the channel, sponsorship deals, and grinding wars <laughs> or wins in shooty game warfare, someone else is gonna take your place in the algorithm and it's impossible to. Oh. Possible to what? Heck, I worked myself to death when I was behind on my uploads. Tried to stay up 48 hours straight playing, editing, talking to sponsors. I wasn't even talking to sponsors while I was playing. Damn, what time is it right now? It's 3.45 a.m. right now. So, I guess, you know, I was about to make fun of this Fortnite Johnson, but look at me. Eventually my body just pooped out and I died in the middle of rendering my latest video. What? That's how you died? There was an opportunity I took with a brand I thought was completely dead that let me continue to stream and keep my legacy going indefinitely. But, man, the demands are just getting too much. I'm sorry, you're doing, like, afterlife streaming? With an afterlife brand? Am I getting this right? There's nothing I enjoy more than gaming, but I am getting really, really sick of playing shooty game warfare. It just doesn't feel the same once you spend the afterlife playing it forever as a job. I'm just so tired, man. It's just not- it's not just the coffee that's bringing me down. You should take a break. Catherine's always recommend I take a break, but it's not that easy to take one. I need to choose between being happy and keeping the success going. But it's weird. I do this because I enjoy the work and I'm happy being able to play games as a career. And even if I took a break, I would just be reminded about how I could be monetizing it for work. That sucks the soul out of the fun of gaming for me. I think I should at least try though. This has gotten pretty bad. I need to start small with managing my coffee intake. But more importantly, I need to play something else than shooty game warfare. I don't know though, what are my fans gonna think? What do I even play? There's so many I've missed over the years. I suppose now is a great time to clean my room. Do you wanna get started? Yes, I do. Now that's epic. Quick gaming tip before you start. You won't just be cleaning up blood this time. What was that supposed to mean? My decals, brought to you by my Angels Onward sponsorship, have been running around disturbing my streams for, uh, oops, oh, I was supposed to hit down. Maybe they've taken part of my soul because they represent part of what makes me, me. I know, the only science degree I have is a BSc in deciphering modern pre-launch guides. <laughs> Cringing with embarrassment from that poor excuse for of a joke, Fortnite Johnson slinks back to the corner of the room and engrosses herself in an old classic game. The decals on the wall glow in a rainbow of colors. Alright, this is what I was looking for. Yeah! LED gamer blood. <laughs> Oh my god, you actually do? Oh, that's fun. Space invaders, right? Or, oh my god, am I... Either I'm too old or not old enough. Pick your poison. I'll get this. Oh my god. <laughs> This is cool. And that's game! Oh, sorry. 
I like skipped through it because I was clicking too much. How about input output two? An old classic. Yeah, I'm gonna play that today. I'll actually turn off my stream and take a day off. I trust my gamer gang. I believe they'll understand me taking some time off. I think I'll need a second player for input output two though. Ah, huh, I have an idea. The office lady down the hall. I feel really bad for disturbing her so much with my hype persona. I want to make amends, and she seems like a really cool person who also might need a break off work. If you're able to ask her, that would be great. Hope she says yes, but uh, I didn't understand if she said no. Okay, um, well, this is actually a pretty cool game. I don't think I'm gonna play the entire thing because it's pretty lengthy, there's a lot of reading, but it's very cool. If you want to check it out for yourself, feel free to look in the description. Um, it's got all the submissions from this video. Are we? We are. We're gliding down the stairs. Nice. I like the fixed camera angles in this game. All right, guys. So this was my video on some of the more interesting HQ Residential House Game Jam games that I played. Uh, it's too bad that I couldn't fit all 26 entries into one video, but I just played some of the ones that really stuck out to me. Um, I played some other ones uh, too, and I didn't include every single one that I played in the video. I tried to keep it uh, pretty succinct. I didn't want to have, you know, so many. But before I close out the video, I want to issue a big thanks to uh, Corpse Pile and Brogon Hackett uh, for helping me organize this game jam. They did a great job, especially Corpse Pile. He basically just took the reins and ran with it, created a Discord for the game jam, created the game jam page itself. Like, did an awesome job and they deserve all the credit. And I'd also like to thank everyone that made a game for this. I'm very impressed with some of these entries. Definitely took it directions I was not expecting from uh, turning the garage into a army man battlefield to uh, a fixed camera angle visual novel style spirit cleaning experience to a first person bizarre Duke Nukem style boss fight arena. There were so many cool creative ideas that I saw and I think that the game jam was a huge success and I thank everyone for participating. This was so much fun. If you want to check out all 26 submissions, there is once again a link in the description that will take you there. Or you can just Google HQ Residential House Game Jam. It'll be the first result. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought about the games in this video and if there are any other submissions that you've played that you thought were cool and you would recommend, I encourage you to comment about that down below as well. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.